Hi everybody, it's Stephen Brook and welcome to Architectural Photography and Composition. We're going to discuss my method for resizing your architectural photographs, which is something we have to do for a variety of reasons. And when we talk about resizing for making prints, I want to say ahead of time that I know there are a lot of ways of doing this. You say three photographers, five opinions, but I'm going to show you what I have found to be the most successful way to do this. And I'll tell you about my friend Beltran Espinoza, who has helped me with this. First off, check out my ebook at stephenbrookphotography.com. It's a wonderful companion to all of these videos. It's a great way to help me support this site and it will cost you less than a large coffee and a muffin. So there are two reasons why you need to change the size of the image coming out of your camera after you've gone through all the processing steps. And generally, if you have a camera, contemporary camera, you're going to end up with a 100 plus megabyte TIFF file, and what do you do with those? So there are two things. One is converting that high res TIFF file into a usable JPEG. And then the second is printing at various sizes. So why do you need to convert a high res TIFF to a, a low res JPEG? First of all, the high res TIFFs are just too large for online usage. You can't use them on your website. You can't use them on Instagram or Facebook. They just choke the site. And if you want to send somebody a photo in an email to show it to them, you can't send these 100, 125 megabyte TIFF files. They're, they're just too big. So what you need to do is to change them to a lower resolution JPEG generally in the two to five megabyte range. And I submit to you, this is the only time that you want to resample your TIFF image to make a new file. So here in image size, you go to this layout. Here you will check resample and you go to image image size that's from the Photoshop menu. Now your resolution should already be at 300. That's what um, you set it in camera raw. Even though the camera raw default is still 240, you change that to 300, which is the industry standard for this. Then click resample. Now set the long dimension to nine inches. If it's a horizontal, you set the horizontal to nine. If it's a vertical, you set the vertical to nine. And then you don't change the proportion ratio. And then whatever is the other dimension will automatically go to that proportion. But you set your larger proportion to nine inches. And then click OK, and then save that as a JPEG. And it will be about two to three megabytes, which is a useful size for all online work. And ironically, even though you are shooting really large files, architecture competitions um, generally want them delivered as JPEGs. So the only time you're going to want to use these high-res TIFFs are for book reproduction, magazine reproduction, and making prints. Oddly, even newspapers tend not to want those big 100 plus megabyte files. They, their resolution isn't that good. Their reproduction generally isn't that good. And they're happy with two to five megabyte uh, JPEGs. Nine inches by six inches, if it's two to th two by three format at 300 DPI is going to do it for you. And I, you, when I make a, a PDF of my files to send as a contact sheet, I use these JPEGs because making the PDF and you do that in, in bridge, making a PDF from the, the huge TIFF files takes forever and gives you a much larger PDF than you actually need. So, Resizing for printing. Don't resample your image. Okay, let me repeat that. Do not resample your image. So if you're going to take, let's say it's a 10 by 15 
inches at 300 dpi and you want to go and make let's say an 11 by 7 print what you do is first go to image image size and again that's from the photoshop program menu deselect the resample set the longer dimension to what you want in this case i'm going to set it at 10 and a half the height will automatically go to about seven inches and notice the resolution is going to jump way up why is that because you haven't resampled your image you're not changing the pixels when you resample you change the pixels and you don't want to do that now save the file with the new dimensions and you print from that file now when you enlarge the image this is where this gets contentious because a lot of printers will tell you, well, to resample, you have to go from, let's say, an 11, a 10 by 15 size image, and you want to go to, let's say, a 60 by 40 print, that you have to resample and up res your file to make that 40 by 60 print. That is not true. My friend and colleague for over 30 years, master photographer and printer, Beltran Espinoza and I have talked about this and Beltran says this is a big mistake that a lot of photographers make when you change your file to make these big prints all you have to do is what you did for the other one don't hit resample set your width let's say to 60 the height will automatically go to 40 and now your resolution drops to 144.667. Say, well, that's not enough resolution to print. Yes, it is. Save that file with the new dimensions for future years. Notice the original file was 143.7 megabytes. When you change this without resampling, the image size, the actual image size has not changed. It's still 143.7 megabytes. You have not tortured your pixels to make the bigger print. Now, if you resample to make, let's say, a 60 by 40, look what happens to the image size. It goes all the way up to 617 megabytes. So, where did all those extra pixels come from? Photoshop interpolates it and adds, basically adds fake pixels. Now, if it's not a real big enlargement, you might not notice that. But if you are making really big enlargements, let's say for a museum exhibition, you're going to start to see the artifacts that Photoshop has put into your image. But if you do it the other way, don't resample, just change the size and let the resolution go where it goes. You are not going to see any artifacts. Here's, for example, this is an exhibition of Mark Hampton, um, architect, who is my mentor. And these are minimum, these are 40 by 60 prints that um, Maestro Espinosa printed for me. And if you stand from a normal distance, they look great. All we did was simply take what were about, you know, 12 by 18 inch 300 DPI files and change them to 40 by 60. Some of them were even bigger and let the resolution go where it is and print them normally. And your printer, if you have a decent printer, will do a great job. If it prints, let's say, at 1440 DPI, it's going to look wonderful. I promise you. So remember, for most purposes, the only time you need to resample your image is when you're making a reduced size JPEG from your high res TIFFs. And again, that you have to do for online usage. Otherwise, when you make large prints, do not resample. Just change the size, the resolution will go where it's going to go. And I promise you, your prints are going to look great. So if you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new and, and or if you've looked at a few videos and you haven't subscribed. And uh, thanks again for all of your emails and your notes. Many of you have suggested topics 
to discuss, including this one. And so in future videos, we're going to talk about uh, landscape photography a bit more, lighting a bit more. We're going to talk about um, a particular product that I have come to use a lot for multiple exposures. So again, thank you. And as of last week, I think we've hit over 100,000 views on the site. So my thumbs up to you. I'm really glad that you're enjoying these videos and I look forward to seeing you again soon.